Hey everyone, welcome to Rugged Outdoors Guide. My name is Pete Stack and this is my channel. Hey guys, today we're gonna to be talking about some of the beginning mistakes that people make when they're getting into canoeing. And <laughs> hopefully I'll have a bit of fun with this, but before I go on guys, if you just like tutorials like this and maybe some trip documentaries, maybe some gear reviews, please do give us a like and a subscribe. And uh, it's no skin off anybody's back, but uh, YouTube likes us better if you do that and it helps us to keep making more of these videos. So appreciate that. Guys, I have seen a lot of people making a lot of mistakes. In fact, I made all of them when I was starting off about 40 years ago in just paddling, mostly with a canoe on lake trips, uh, portaging and that sort of thing. There are hundreds of things that you can do incorrectly and wrong, but I've kind of narrowed it down to about five things that are near the top of anybody's list on things that you can do wrong as a beginner canoeist. And by pointing these out, I'm not trying to discourage you at all. In fact, the opposite is true. I'm trying to encourage you. That's really what our station, or our station, I keep calling it station, that's really what our channel is all about. It's about encouraging those people who are more or less starting off in the world of canoeing um, and camping. So to that end, I have five things that uh, canoeists do wrong when they start off. One of them is sitting in the wrong place. Now I can't tell you how many times I have seen um, a uh, some guy, usually it's a guy sitting in the back of the canoe. It's, it's the same place he would sit if he was going solo or um, going tandem in a tandem canoe. But now with nobody in the front seat, the front end of the canoe sticks way up and um, it's dangerous. The wind can catch you at the very least and make it difficult for you and at worst, they can flip you right over because the most of your canoe or half of it is out of the water and so there's no stability when your canoe is not touching the water so that is kind of one of the things that we <laughs> we really discourage is sitting in the wrong place in fact if you have a symmetrical canoe and that is both sides of the canoe are shaped exactly the same the bow and the stern are the same size same height you can turn your canoe around sit in the front seat or the bow seat but paddle towards the stern so it's it's flipped right around and that will balance it out a little bit better rather than sitting in the back seat with your front end sticking up so that's number one number two the thing that people need to learn I strongly encourage you to learn this when you first start off is how to do um, corrective strokes. Now I want you to learn all your all the, the basic paddle strokes but corrective strokes are strokes like uh, the, the Canadian stroke or the goon stroke more and more popularly the J stroke and that's just a corrective stroke and by corrective I mean when you paddle your canoe is going to turn away from the side that you're paddling. So how do you get it back to, to going straight again. Well, a lot of beginner canoeists just flip their paddle side back and forth and they're going from one side to the other to the other and they're getting all wet in the process and they look like newbies. And it's not really that much fun when you're doing that for miles and miles and miles. It's irritating and everything gets wet and you're like, well, why do, why do people like to canoe? This is, this is terrible. All right, so you need to learn how to do corrective strokes. And we've got lots of videos on that. Check out, um, well, I'll have some links down below but you can also probably look over my shoulder at the end of this video and you can see links to other videos that will tell you all about the different strokes that you need to learn. All right, so number three is choosing the wrong canoe for your purpose. I mean, we all love a beautiful light Kevlar canoe that you can carry nicely on a portage and it's just a joy to paddle. But what happens when you go down a set of rapids with lots of rocks and trees. You can destroy that canoe within half a minute and there goes $3,500 down the tubes. So you just don't wanna choose the incorrect canoe. And a lot of people starting out just think a canoe is a canoe is a canoe. They go on to Craigslist or Kijiji and get a canoe that's the cheapest one possible. And um, they think, well, that's as good as anything. And then they have a horrible time canoeing because they've chosen the wrong canoe. It's a heavy beast that they're carrying for seven miles of portages and they never do it again. So that is what we would strongly discourage. Get the right canoe for the right job. And there are specific canoes for whitewater, for recreation, and for lake water tripping. And we have another video that talks specifically about that in detail. Number four, not knowing how to get into a canoe. 
oh man, some of the stories I can tell you about people trying to get into canoes when I'm watching them on the dock and the canoe is like shaking back and forth and it's, it's, uh, it's empty most of the time so it's really tippy and um, you know, it's, it's like a, the gong show. It's just funny to watch and I kind of shake my head and smile and I wish I could help them. Uh, but eventually they get in and they take off and, and it's uh, maybe they have fun I don't know but it's just it's a it's like a uh, <laughs> you know a, a comedy show watching them on the dock. Some of the things to keep in mind that are not necessarily common sense when it comes to getting into a canoe are keeping a low center of gravity of course right that makes sense. Um, you want to have your hands on the gunnels of the canoe when you get in when you step in you want to step in the center and oftentimes you have to do the step and the grabbing of the gunnels at the same time you can't really grab the gunnels until you step in many cases but whatever the case just you know keep those things in mind concentrate on balance like it's a big deal you're not stepping onto like a dock it's the other way around you're stepping into a canoe and it is going to be tippy and so just think about it be cautious and you probably won't have a problem the other thing is don't get spooked by the fact that the canoe is tippy. All right, you're not stepping into a big boat with a flat bottom. And if you have that expectation, then you'll be ready for the tippiness and I'm sure you will be fine. And number five is not knowing how to tie down your canoe or secure it properly to your vehicle. I've seen just horror stories on the highway where people have tied down a canoe with like one strap or something and I'm like that's that's not going to last more than a few miles and I've heard of a lot of tragic things that have happened. So learn how to do that. Again, as you can imagine, we do have videos on how to do that properly for different vehicles, for cars, for trucks um, with a, a, a back on it or no back on the truck. And so how can you do that properly? There's different, different techniques you can use. Learn how to do that. Use tie down straps. Okay, not just a rope around the center of your vehicle, but tie down straps, which are, uh, they, they, you can pull them tight one way and they won't let go. And you want to use at least two of them on the body of your canoe and then you want to tie down the bow and stern as well using either tie down straps meant for the bow and stern or ropes and then use a particular technique um, usually a trucker's hitch will do and again you can check out those videos on that. So guys, those are the five things that we find to be the biggest issues of all. Sitting in the wrong place, uh, not knowing how to paddle with corrective strokes, choosing the wrong canoe for your purpose, not knowing how to get into a canoe, and then not knowing how to tie it down in your vehicle properly. If you can get those things taken care of, you will not even look like a newbie anymore. All right, guys, thank you for checking out this video. If you appreciate videos like this, please do uh, join us again as often as you can. And until the next time I see you guys, get out there, enjoy God's wonderful creation, and keep on looking up.